dupes brands I don't want you to know about. Unstoppables, Dollar Trees, In Wash Aroma Boosters and Odor Eliminators, same as this thing. This will last me for six years. I don't like this many fragrances on my clothes. Some people like pile this stuff in there. <laughs> It gives me a headache just thinking about it. Like this stuff is so strong. It has so much perfume that I literally have to like bag these up because if you just leave them out sitting like this, the whole house will be inundated with the smells. If you bought the same size as this one here at Target or Walmart or wherever you shop, they're about 15 to $16. This is $1.25 at Dollar Tree. Now here's the deal. These are probably the hardest things to find in store right now, period, hands down, no other product. This is the product that you probably can't get your hands on in the store, but I don't care how wonderful they are. I don't care how long they last and how great they smell. $15, that is a lot in my opinion. They're so strong. I don't know how people use these. Do they melt immediately? The color's cute. These are the blue ones, which I hear is the one that everybody loves. This one's so strong that it's like overpowering this room right now. Oh, these are lovely. I'm actually leaning towards this as far as the scent is concerned. They're the same. These are purple though. Look how much product you're getting in there. When I saw them, I thought, no way. As a matter of fact, I got a little clip of me in the store. I've been looking for these forever. Finally here. You know the little scent beads? Yeah, Dollar Tree has a dupe huge bottle look. See how excited I was? I busted out the camera. I never vlog in the store, but I had to vlog it for y'all because I thought I found the unicorn of Dollar Tree. I got to show my friends. You guys know I'm at Dollar Tree pretty much every day. And this is the first time I've run into them. They look exactly the same. The brand name ones seem a little bit flatter. Now I do want to see how long they take to melt down. Do they melt completely? used them. Let's find out. I'm gonna let them sit here for just a second to see which ones start melting faster because I've never used these before. I need audience participation here. If you've used these and I know a lot of people use them, have you ever had an occasion or an instance where they are still in your washing machine? Like they didn't dissolve completely or they're in your clothes? That's what I'm afraid of. Like they won't dissolve all the way through and they're gonna just become a blob. Tell me the truth. If you don't want to keep them in these giant things, a lot of people put Put them in these covered, clear, either plastic or glass. Oh, it fit perfect. And then they put them like this in their laundry room. That way when you're doing laundry, you just get it out of the jar and then when you're not using it, put the cover on. See, that's how I would store them. And then Cricut it. I got this at Dollar Tree as well. And also from Dollar Tree, the little scooper. Now all you need is the laundry sign in the laundry. Let me tell you a little life hack that you can do with these. People put rocks in their sink. I know it's wackadoodles. They put in a couple of drops of essential oils. That way every time you wash your hands or somebody comes over and washes their hand, they get amazing aromas from the rocks, but you can get these at Dollar Tree. What I was thinking was, because these are so strong, can we not sprinkle a few in here? And then every time somebody washes their hands, aromas because people are putting these in like those candle warmers because when they get warm all the aromas are through the house she's so trendy if you try it and you love it let me know let's go back to our experiment the unstoppable brand name ones are melting slightly faster than these i think it's because these are a little bit flatter they just dissolve a little bit quicker but these are melting as well the smell of the purple ones are actually really really nice and they're not too much that's why i'm leaning this way i see why people are nuts over these so for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree dupe five Vivian heads and I'm gonna give the unstoppable brand name one four Vivian heads. Mini brands. These are the cutest things I've ever seen. If you've been here for a minute, you know I'm a sucker for like low manager things. Dollar Tree's like, yeah, we got totally tiny. It's close, I like the name, it's kind of catchy. No, I have three packs of these. Each one I think may bring, see that's the gamble with these. You don't know what you're getting. Dollar Tree, $1.25 brand name. Dollars. I love how they put them in these balls too. I don't know why that makes it fun. It feels like an orange. Oh, well, there's five surprises. <laughs> I will pay the eight bucks, okay? I'm gonna collect a hundred of these. Oh my God, I got miniature dollar bills. I have a Hershey bar. Quality is excellent, Arm & Hammer. I'm starting a TikTok channel just to open these things. OxyClean. Even the instructions, barcode on the back, nobody can touch miniature brands, right? They are doing excellent. Dry organic mangoes. 
the last one and I wish it was not over. Sunny D. <laughs> Dollar Tree, the expectations are over the top. The excitement to open it is not as good as these guys, but I got a taco. Oh, but they're like foamy. They're still good. So I got some churros. Okay, now fingers crossed that I didn't get the same thing again. The sugar cookie and the macaroons. Quality is not as good, but it's still super cute. I think the kids are gonna love it. There's just not a lot of them. Dollar Tree, y'all need to have a hundred of them so we can collect. It should have been a piece of toast and an egg, but I got the cookies again. It's kind of a gamble on what you're getting here. Super cute. I don't think you can go wrong with either. Now this is really exciting and it really looks like the real thing and the quality is excellent. These are still super cute. For $1.25, it's fun. The kids are going to open it and try to collect however many. There's not a lot to collect from a Dollar Tree, but it's still fun for the kids. So I'm gonna give the brand name Miniatures five Vivian heads. Even at that price point, I love them. And I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree ones four Vivian heads. Wellies, Band-Aid, little tin. Dollar Trees, dupe for the Wellies. It's just a little tin with Band-Aids. How cute is this? These were $7 at Walmart. These were $1.25 at Dollar Tree. The ones from Dollar Tree are only giving me 21 count. These are giving me 48 count. Get you two of these if you need the 40. They did have them in a couple different designs. Now this one comes in a whole variety and everybody carries these. Target, Walmart, I've seen them at TJ Maxx. Super cute. But the price now, these are cute too. Look, they have pups on them. The one from Dollar Trees, it's not just band-aids. It says it is a first aid kit. The wellies is fabric band-aids. I would never buy these. We need a band-aid. I'm gonna get a thousand band-aids for two bucks. Let's see what this is all about. I mean, the packaging is super cute. This is a tie-dye look. I guess after you use the tin, you can refill them. Oh, they're super cute. <laughs> you know, I'm a sucker for design and packaging. Oh, they're tie-dyed. Why do I love them? Look at all the band-aids you get. You get these big ones. They're gorgeous. I can't. You get these medium-sized ones, or I guess the smaller ones. You know, kids are always like, I need a Band-Aid for everything. They're so cute, kids are so cute. <laughs> I am such a sucker for things like this. Like, they got me with just the cuteness of them and the tin, because I'm like, listen, refill that tin, put some buttons in it, <laughs> like grandma. Did, did your grandma used to get the cookies, and then when you opened the cookie tin, it was like needles, <laughs> yarn. Just mine. There's still a lot for that price, but I think these are good quality band-aids. They're flexible fabric band-aids. You're getting four sizes, so that's pretty good. I'm a sucker. Like, I flip-flop real quick. You guys just witnessed it. The Dollar Tree one is probably gonna win an award too, right? The tens look almost identical. Let's open the Dollar Tree ones. These are fabric too. Wait a sec. Why do they look exactly the same? And they threw in some medical tape. You can use this for wrinkles too. That's a hack. Kind of look the same as far as packaging. They are the same fabric material. You can't lose here. Like for real, for real. Look at the pups. Uh, well, y'all forgot to print on these. Same deal. Dollar trees. How come when we were growing up, we didn't have cute things like this? And they're fabric. How gentle. These are from Dollar Tree. Super soft. Great little pattern. Brand name ones. Very, very nice. I can't take anything away from them except the price. If you guys would just knock like $3. <laughs> I know that's a lot. They both feel just as yummy as the other. The kids are not gonna be able to tell. So if you can find these at Dollar Tree, I would say go pick them up. If you want something just a little bit nicer, probably with more designs and always available, <laughs> you might wanna pick these up. Cause you guys know Dollar Tree, okay? They'd be missing some store sometimes. Like they ship everything to one store and then the other stores don't get nothing. So so Dollar Tree, y'all need to fix that because my friends sometimes go and they can't find the stuff they see on my videos. Either way, I'm impressed with both, but these guys won. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the brand name Band-Aids four Vivian heads. I'm gonna knock a Vivian head off for price. The ones from Dollar Tree, excellent, five Vivian heads. Cetaphil, big old tub of it, lotion. And now Dollar Tree's Be Pure Cetaphil. They even picked beautiful colors to match the brand name one. No shame. This one is in a tub because I was not gonna buy another one because this is going to last me a hundred years. The Dollar Tree one says it will help soothe, soften, dry skin. It has avocado oil and essential vitamin E and vitamin B5 without any parabens. This is pretty good. This stuff is expensive. I think I paid for this jar, I don't know, 13 bucks. This was a $1.25. 
25. So cross your fingers that it's not a greasy mess and it feels just as moisturizing as this guy. I wanna see how oily they are. Because the worst thing in the world, at least in my opinion, is to put on some lotion and an hour later, you're still sticky and greasy. Like how are you gonna go to bed like that? First, we're gonna put down the brand name one. Super thick, super creamy, really nice. Now let's see if this one is similar. I know somebody's gonna point this out. This is a lotion, this is a cream. So this one is very thick. This one is a lotion and it feels like milk. Nice, okay, wait a second, Dollar Tree. Y'all might have something here. It has a very, very, very faint smell of something, nothing crazy. It absorbed immediately. Totally different textures, very impressed. The moisture on point, no greasiness. It is already absorbed into my skin. I was not expecting this to be this nice. And here's a little pro tip. Right after you get out of the shower, while you're still dripping, put your lotion on and it will absorb even nicer. Your skin has never felt that good. For $1.25, this is a steal even if it is 50% of what this is, from what I felt, from what I see, and from what they're promising, this is worth the dollar and the quarter. So just based on my first impression, the brand name one gets four Vivian heads. I'm gonna knock a Vivian head off just for price. So I'm gonna give this guy five. Vivian heads. The pink stuff, brand name, <laughs> the Dollar Tree dupe. I think this is brand new. I think they just brought these into stores because so many of you guys were telling me to pick this stuff up. I think it even went viral a couple of weeks ago. Again, another product that is hard to find still, but I am starting to see it at multiple stores now. So it promises to be this. Now the pink stuff, I've never used it before, but I hear it has a literal cult following because it's supposed to be so good. Like it will clean everything and anything. The Miracle Cleaning Paste. That's what the pink stuff is, in case you've never heard of it. It's tough on stains, so it will take any stain out. 99% natural ingredients. The Dollar Tree one is called multi-purpose cleaning paste. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I just saw in there, but let's open this one so I know what I should be looking for. Pink stuff is giving me 17.6 ounces of product. The Dollar Tree one is giving me seven ounces of product, but this one cost me $1.25. The pink stuff costs $5.97. A miracle. <gasps> Oh, it's literally pink. It looks like frosting. Like it has a really nice texture. The one from Dollar Tree kind of scared me when I first opened it. It smells like strawberries and berries. It's also pink, but it has the craziest texture. It looks dry. It looks like it came from Dollar Tree. Ugh. Let's scoop some out and see what they look like. We'll start with the brand name one. It is the consistency of toothpaste. I don't eat it, Vivian. <laughs> I may have just become a super fan. I mean, I don't know yet. I don't know if it works, but they swear by it. Looks amazing, feels amazing, smells amazing. Now the Dollar Tree, okay. The Dollar Tree one just, you gotta, you know, you gotta warm it up. Kind of the same, but not really. Consistency is very, very different. So we're gonna try it in the back of the shoe. I have these little sponges here. I'm just gonna do the back. So grab yourself a picture of the before. It just says to rub a small amount of paste on it. If you have used this and you absolutely love it, the texture is just amazing. Okay. Sorry to clean, I thought I had to add water or something to activate, but okay. I'm sure this is also helping. I'm using the exact sponge on both. So there's that one. Put paste on and let it sit for a minute. This one is way harder to get out of here because it's so thick. This one is so creamy. I just feel like it goes on nicer and I don't have to try so hard to get the product out. I saw this lady on TikTok. She literally cleaned all her shoes with this stuff and a toothbrush. That's it, her shoes are brand new. Oh, my shoes ain't never gonna be dirty again after. Oh, the Dollar Tree one works. I'm not even trying that hard, look at it. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of water to each one and then give you the final reveal. First impressions of the pink stuff, I'm a fan, but if Dollar Tree has knocked it off, are you kidding me? They might get sued for this. That's pretty clean. That took me a whole five seconds. Now the Dollar Tree one, what can I clean with this? I know I can clean the kitchen stuff, like the stove and the oven and the pots and the pan. <gasps> That's gonna help my pans. And if you found this before I did and you've been using it, tell me your testimony. <laughs> oh no, the Dollar Tree one works just as good, you guys. 
it's working just as good. Look at that. Now use one of these little sponges too, because that helps. If I'm putting them against each other, the Dollar Tree one will form just as good. Now this one might have chemicals and all that stuff. This one is supposedly 99% natural. So if that matters, then pay this price. I have nothing to say negatively about this product, but this one is working just as well. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the brand name one five Vivian heads, even at the price. And I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree one four Vivian heads. Yes, I love it, go use it. It is giving us less product, but the smells and it not being all natural and stuff, I'm gonna give them extra points for that. So I'm gonna give this guy four Vivian heads. Pimple patches. These are the cutest, most trendiest thing right now. Instead of putting those, remember the old school way of like a little white cream, a little toothpaste on a pimple to dry it out? Oh no. In 2023, we are all about the pimple patch and I absolutely love them. I tried the Dollar Tree patches months ago. They're little clear round ones. Like literally overnight, my pimple was gone. But these are cute little ones they've knocked off from this brand. The Starface pimple patches. These are outrageously overpriced. Christ. There's 32 in here, so you are getting more product. Let me tell you the price, because you're not gonna believe me. This, five quarters, we already know, 125. You're getting 10 little patches. This one has 32, but you're paying 14.97. That is 47 cents per little patch. The one from Dollar Tree, you're only paying 13 cents a patch. That's a $13 difference, $13.72 to be exact. This better be magical. Like, I don't even want it overnight. For the price, I got a party in 12 hours, put one of these on, boom, pimples gone. Super cute with the little star face, little travel pack. I get it, excellent quality, okay? You know I'm a sucker for nice packaging. Leave patch on for four to six hours for best results. Patch will turn white. Look how cute this is. It has a mirror inside. Do not throw this little packaging away. I think they sell the refills for this too. So the Dollar Tree ones are like gold stars. These are more like yellow stars. The brand name ones are slightly bigger. Handle with care, oh no. Another nostalgia play here with the Rainbow Bright. Now because they're stars and it has like little points, you gotta be very careful. The brand name one feels a little bit more like rubbery, like a plastic or maybe like a little thin silicone, I don't know. Just based on my my first impressions, super impressed with these. I've tried their other pimple patches and they absolutely work. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree Star Patches five Vivian heads and I'm gonna give the Star Face three Vivian heads. Highlighters, dupes of the benefit highlighter. I had to go buy one because I couldn't believe it. They don't care. Aldi, if you're listening, I will become an investor. <laughs> this tiny little box of highlighter costs $35. Not even half an ounce of product. Never in my entire life have I paid $35 for this much makeup. No wonder these are billion dollar companies. Like, why are y'all paying that when you can go to stores like Aldi? I'm sure this company is amazing. I'm sure the quality of the product is so, so good. The Aldi ones are made out of the same little box. So $6, $35. By buying the Aldi one, I saved $29. Benefit one comes in two different colors as well. They did not have the other one in stock, so I couldn't pick that up, but look how pretty that is, cupcake. And look how cute the little brush is that it comes with. Oh, that's so soft. This is outrageous. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they have not gotten in trouble. The brush is so good. It's supposed to be just a little shimmer, okay? So this is more of the pink one. Where's my brush? Did my brush fall out? I paid $35 and you can't give me a brush. Aldi gave me a brush. It has a mirror just like this one does. Aldi gave you a bonus matching brush to go with it. If you wanna go pick this up for $35, good luck retiring ever at that rate. The Aldi one, I'm gonna do it with my finger so that I can do this one with my finger as well. I shouldn't even help them with that. I love the color, the pink is so pretty. Now, the benefit, very buttery. Put it on this side. Oh, okay, that's pretty too. And it looks very intense on my face. So if you like that, then go buy you a $35 one. I'm making a prediction. Nobody told me nothing, I don't know. Aldi is testing the makeup to bring more in. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the Aldi dupe 75 Vivian heads and I'm gonna give the benefits three Vivian. I took two Vivian heads off for the price, for what I got. And no brush. 
I should take out more bathing heads. Benefit 24 hour brow setter, the Aldi dupe. They're really going after Benefit this time. The Benefit brow setter cost me clear gel for your eyebrows. $26, Aldi cost me $3.99. Over $20 savings. They both promise 24 hour wear, both promise to set and not flake. I got two because I want it to last me the entire year. See how you do it? You buy you a couple. It's still significantly less than the original one, but you got you two. That way they last you all year, right? This one maybe lasts you six months. You got the second one until next December when they bring them back, you stock up again. A little bit different packaging wise, but the colors, the stars, everything else is pretty much the same. This one has a really cool design, but I don't care about that. $26, just make it basic like this one. And it has brown makeup on it because I have been using it for the past week or so because I wanted to test it to tell you guys. But the brushes benefit. Don't get mad at Aldi. Get mad at your manufacturer. Only difference that I see is that one is white, the Aldi one, and then the benefit is black. The brush style, shape, the little bristles, the same. I do have brow gel already on, but let me just show you in case you've never seen brow gel. It just puts them in the right position and they stay all day. Because it's clear, you can still draw in your eyebrows. And for the price, look how cute my brow looks. Like I mentioned, I've been using the brow one myself for the last week. They stay put, there is no flaking. I have zero complaints. So save yourself the money and go buy you the Aldi one. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the benefit for Vivian heads. I took a Vivian head off for price. Now I'm gonna give the Aldi one five Vivian heads. Aldi concealers, the dupe for, I had to go to Ulta for this one because they put different products at different stores. Isn't that crazy? The famous Tarte Shape Tape Radiant Concealer. <laughs> You guys, $31 for this concealer. $31 under $5. I got number two and number three. I don't know if those are my shades. By the time you get your lipstick, your mascara, your foundation, that's $400 in makeup. Are you kidding? Y'all pay that? Not me. Uh-uh, I'm stocking up. Look, this will last me all year. The number three is the one that matches closer to this one, so we'll try it together. Light Medium Sand is the one I picked up. So they're both giving us the same amount of product. Look at the size. Look at the design. They said we don't care. We'll do the tart on this eye. Look at the before. I don't know how to do highlight. I think you just do a little here. Is that too much? And then like this. That's how I like to do my concealer. I'm gonna try to use this because it's what I have in my studio. I had to blend it over the top because I had too much. It looks really pretty. It feels really nice. If you love this and you think it's worth the $31, let me know in the comments down below. This is my first impression. And so far, I don't hate it. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. Huh, I'm gonna have to start wearing concealer. Now, the Aldi one, which I bought too, so I have plenty for all year. Same. This one seems a little lighter. Again, I'm spreading it out over the top because I don't know what to do with all this damn concealer. That's as good as it's gonna get for me. They both look good. They both felt great. Save yourself the $25 and buy yourself the Aldi, at least for next year. This year, you missed out. Too bad to set. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the Tarte. It's a decent product. I have no complaints besides the price. I'm gonna give this guy four Vivian heads and I'm gonna give the Aldi five Vivian heads. First impression, I might hate it in two hours. Here's the Aldi mascara, which is also a dupe of the Benefit mascara. And I only brought it because I want to apologize to Aldi for this one. They brought this last year when I did the dupes around the same time. Told you guys, I think they were testing it then, but here they are. Again, this must have sold very well. But I have to apologize because in the original video that I did, I said that the waterproof formula did not work well because it just rinsed right off my hand when I sprayed it with a little bit of water. For at least six months, I used that mascara and it was everything I've ever wanted in a mascara and I bought myself three backups so that I would have it for the entire year. This is probably the best mascara I have ever tried in my life. That's how good it is. It is waterproof. It does not smudge. It is not, none of it. It is perfect and it is so easy to take off at the end of the day. But this product is so good, I had to tell you guys about it because I will never stop using it as long as they're bringing it in. Save yourself another $25 and just buy this mascara. It's only $3.99. $3.99, the Benefit one is 30 something dollars. Benefit bronzer. This is a beloved product for Benefit. This might be the one product, like their unicorn product. $35, Aldi duped it. 
for five. Thirty-five dollars. I cannot believe you guys are buying bronzers, highlighters, concealers for that amount. Let me know in the comments down below what's the most you've spent on makeup. I can't believe it. Like I've never done that. I mean, I'll splurge here and there on stuff, but wait a second. I thought they came with brushes. They've never come with brushes? I don't believe that. That must be new. And as you can see, I bought two of the dark ones. I love me a bronzer. But the thing is that the Aldi ones have a brush. What do you mean? For $35, you better send me the brush and you better send me a makeup a person and the brush that Aldi's given us is so good like oh it's gonna get that one little spot right here so good down here the brush alone was worth the five dollars <laughs> here are the two shades of the Aldi one they're gorgeous color is almost exactly the same this is the Aldi side I'm gonna let the benefit borrow this brush okay there's no makeup on it the benefit side the Aldi side okay Blend it out, blend it out. I like to bring it up here sometimes. I love me a bronzer. I think out of all the makeup, the bronzers, the mascara, Benefit, very pretty. Okay, there it is, blended. Benefit, Aldi. What else can I say? For $5, are you kidding me? So for all of those reasons, I will give the Benefit bronzer three Vivian heads because you didn't give me a brush and you're way overpriced in my opinion. I'm gonna give the Aldi five Vivian heads. Benefit micro blading pin and the Aldi dupes in two colors. The Aldi ones cost me $3.99. The Benefit one cost me $26. The Aldi ones were such a great price. I got four, two of each color. There's a dark brown and a medium brown. A little bit different in the design. The Benefit's super cute. And this is to pencil in your brows. The Benefit one came out a little bit more smudged, not like little lines like brow hair. The Aldi one had really nice, sharp little brow hairs. I'm gonna overdraw my brows just so you guys can see it on camera. So I'm gonna start here and then draw some hairs in. Hopefully you guys can see it. And I don't know if it'll work as well because I have so much makeup on right now, but I think you guys can see individual little strokes of hair very impressed okay the benefit start here light strokes up benefit Aldi you decide let me know I'm sticking with the Aldi and I'm saving myself hundreds of millions of dollars so I'm gonna give the benefit four Vivian heads just taking off a Vivian head for price and the Aldi one five Vivian heads. I like the color of this side better nail polish removing now Dollar Tree is carrying the nail polish remover pins which I absolutely love I think these dry out super fast and they're not convenient but the idea is so good if somebody could perfect this like they can make a gazillion dollars I do this, but I have a little workaround. Like I have a little life hack. I just use a little brush to clean up around my nails. Alta one cost me $4.99, Dollar Tree $1.25. That is saving me $3.74. The only thing that I saw that was different is that the Alta one looks super cool, but it has little attachment. Dollar Tree, get some ideas. The Dollar Tree one says it is infused with vitamin E. The Alta one also has vitamin E. For $4.99, it's not bad. With the little tips on it. Do you see that? You just clean around your edges. If you're a sloppy nail polish person like me, here's this end. These haven't been super popular because they probably dry out very fast. I don't know, but I'm saying for a dollar and a quarter, I'll keep buying the one from Dollar Tree. Oh, look at the tip of that. It has like a little angle to it. That is very strong. Like there is a lot of nail polish remover in there. I'm stocking up. Do not sell these out. This one has a weird kind of angle to it. It's curved on one side and then slanted or straight on the other side. The Dollar Tree one just has a really nice edge to it so that you can get right in there and get that nail polish off. When I go to Dollar Trees, if I don't see a lot of a product that I pick up, I try to warn you guys so you're not running around town for nothing. I've seen these in just a few stores, not a lot, but maybe it's a brand new product that they're rolling out. We'll start with the brand name one on this side. Do you see, wait, I need to shake it because this one's not as juicy <laughs> on the tip as I'd like it to be. It's a little bit dried. It's not getting in there very good. I mean, it's working. It's definitely getting the nail polish off, but I'm having to dig because of the shape of it. That's also why they probably give you extra tips. You see how the nail polish stays on. That's why this hasn't worked as a mainstream product. The one from Dollar Tree. 
the shape of it. It has way more nail polish remover on that tip. It's so thin and such a great shape. It goes right underneath my nail. This is an amazing product. Run, they will sell out. I would say that the Ulta one, even though they threw in that stuff, I'll pass on it for $4.99 for five quarters all day. So for all of those reasons, I'm going to give the Ulta pin two Vivian heads and I'm going to give the Dollar Tree five Vivian heads. Feminine bath bomb, again, lavender by the same company, the Honey Pot, but I don't have the brand name one because I think they're discontinued. You might be able to find it. I wasn't able to find it at Target or Walmart or Amazon or anywhere, at least the lavender scented one. Dollar Tree ones obviously are going to cost you a dollar and a quarter. The brand name ones for two, just like these, are gonna cost you $13.99. Isn't that like lush prices? By buying the Dollar Tree ones, you're saving $12.74. I'm just gonna drop them in. Like bath bombs are pretty basic these days. They were fancy five years ago. Now, super basic. You can make them at home. Lush, I think they're gonna go out of business. I mean, I don't know. I passed by one the other day at the mall. I know it's gossip, but I'm just saying, I'm letting you know what I saw. I don't think it's trendy anymore. That's what I'm saying. How the hell are you selling a bath bomb for $13.99? Ooh, that smells so nice. I might actually sit in this. <laughs> so far, five Vivian heads. Look at going around and around in circles. Why am I so impressed? I don't use a lot of bath bombs. I think one of these per bath might be enough. And I love the fact that it's turned into its own little spa session, like going in circles. That built-in technology is very impressive. So I'm gonna give the feminine bath bombs from Dollar Tree five Vivian heads. African black soap, Dollar Tree's African black soap. I heard this is really good stuff. The brand name one cost me $4.97, Dollar Tree $1.25, saving me $3.72. But Dollar Tree also sells the raw shea butter one. Brand name one says it is blemish prone face and body bar. Oh, so if you have like acne as well, this might be good. It says that it is not made by this. They're not associated in any way. Dollar Tree's saying that some of the ingredients are certified organic. The brand name one also says some of the ingredients are certified organic. Ooh, it smells nice. I knew that some of these also like lighten skin or at least get rid of like little dark spots. Somebody give me the scoop on the black soap. I need to know what it's good for. I need to know if I need to put this into the beauty regimen. Dollar Tree one is definitely a bigger bar. It's four ounces. Brand name one is 3.5 ounces of product. The brand name one has their logo stamped in it. Super cute. They look similar. The brand name one feels a little bit softer. I'll start with the brand name one since I don't know what to expect. Very nice. Oh, let's see how that lathers up. If you've used this product, this is where I need audience participation. Let me know what you think of it. This one's feeling similar, lathers up really nicely. Let me try the brand name one again because it just didn't lather the same. Here we go, okay. You see how that Dollar Tree one lathered up quick. If you're looking for a black soap with comparable ingredients, I don't know if they're exactly the same. You might wanna try the one from Dollar Tree. Hands feel super, super, super soft. The brand name one at $4 dollars and 97 cents is actually a fair price for what I've seen, smelled, what it's promising and how it's making my skin feel. So even at that price, I don't think it's too bad. So for all of those reasons, I will give the name brand five Vivian heads and I will give the Dollar Tree one five Vivian heads. Pumpkin casserole dish, the large and then the medium. They also had the smalls, which came in a set of two, but it didn't make sense because the Dollar Tree is selling the smalls for a dollar and a quarter. Put it out in the universe and the universe will conspire to make your dreams come true because as soon as I said I want a pumpkin casserole soup thing <laughs> I'm gonna use my one from Dollar Tree the universe said no Vivian don't do all that we're gonna put some on the Aldi truck and in a couple weeks you're gonna get it and here we go it came in three colors white like a beautiful bluish color but it doesn't match my stuff so I couldn't get the blue to so find the white one which I imagine goes first at all stores I had to go to three Aldi's to find the big one in white all the other stores I went to had them in the orangey color white or blue. I found two in white. And then the smaller ones like this that came in the two pack, there's plenty of colors of that. Nobody wants those. We want the big ones because how cute. Even when you're not using them, that's not cute. Like on the table or something like a decor when you're not cooking. Either
either one you can find, you're going to be a winner. Okay, so the small one is 0.8 quarts, which is a little small. Oh wait, I haven't told you the best part. For the larger one I paid, for the smaller one I paid, so the larger one at Pottery Barn is $89. The smaller ones at Pottery Barn go between $15 and $60. <laughs> For the small ones, this one is 90 bucks. And let me tell you how big. The larger one is two quarts. Stunning. Look how beautiful the curved little stem is. Look at the inside of it. Gorgeous. Could you imagine that with super chili? <laughs> you guys know I'm on a chili kick right now. I want some chili. Dollar Tree was pretty close. Look at this one. This could be a beautiful set on the table. Get some of these at Dollar Tree. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys. These are also white at Dollar Tree. Look how cute this looks right here. Let me show you how they styled it at Pottery Barn. So you're going to be able to fool people. Just style it the same way. Go grab your gold chargers from Dollar Tree. You're going to style a beautiful dinner setting thing. This is how they did it at Pottery Barn. Like they put the plates out, right? And then that's a big ass soup, but you get the idea. Or even the small ones. Everybody gets a little bowl of soup at your house or in between. Put a beautiful bowl so everybody can get their sour cream for the chili cheese sprinkle over the top and then the medium one look how good this is gonna look oh the medium one on the gold charger tell me if you're gonna do your setup like this okay look how big this is for the price i don't have to tell you guys again look how gorgeous it looks on the inside now the only difference is that the one from pottery barn does have like a little opening on the side to put like a spoon but i'm okay i don't need the spoon not for 90 dollars. i don't need no damn spoon hole no open it not a big deal that is not a deal breaker for me not if i'm saving 70 dollars. absolutely not lift the lid the handles are perfect underneath so i'm gonna give the pumpkin casserole large and small five Vivian heads. You cannot beat the savings on these guys. Ultra cozy knit throw. Luxuriously soft hand feel. Reversible animal print design. You guys are not ready for this. This thing cost me $19.99. I don't know how I got so lucky because these I think were selling out. They went viral. They came in three colors like a beige plain. The animal print came in two colors. It came in this like brown and black and then it came in like cream colors. That's the one everybody wanted and if they couldn't find that one everybody wanted this one because it is a dupe. This is the one product out of the entire video that you probably are not going to find. You might find the plain white one. They had plenty of those at every store I went to but this one and then the beige or the cream colored animal print one. Good luck and if you found these for less than $19 you have hit the jackpot. Let me know in the comments down below so I can be jealous of you. This is a dupe of a product that is at Neiman Marcus on the Neiman Marcus website is called Cozy Chic Barefoot in the Wild Throw. On their website, it cost $180. We got it for 19 bucks. Neiman Marcus, the one on their website is 54 inches by 72 inches. This one is 50 inches, so we're losing four inches there, and then 70 inches, so we're losing two inches there. So just slightly smaller, and on their website it says Celebrity Favorite. I'm actually loving the color now that I'm looking at it. Everything can't be beige, right? It says it's reversible before I even unfold it. It is the softest throw I own. Look at the pictures. Look at the pictures. So on one side is like this dark color and then on this side it's reversed. I can't believe I actually found one. Like I am grateful that I found this one but I'm still going to try to find the other one too. It's almost like a stretchy material. If you close your eyes you could not tell the difference between the two. Oh I love it. So here's the one side and here's the other side. I don't think I've done this for 2023. Last year I picked a product of the year for Aldi that they duped but I'm going to say this guy is probably the best dupe of 2023. Hands down. No questions asked. Dupeness. <laughs> twins. Not cousins. Twins. Identical. Now we can throw away some of those yucky throws that we have that we've been holding on to for years and replace them with something like this. So I'm going to give the barefoot cozy throw to 55. Vivian heads. Marble decor, like solid marble for $6.99 a piece. When I got there, they only had these two designs left. And I think I'm lucky because I think this is like a week ago's stuff. By the time you guys watch it, it's probably two weeks. Look how gorgeous this thing is. And then this little one, this was my favorite. Look how gorgeous that is. The half marble, half wood look, I love. And I guess you could sit it up any which way you want. Now, some people put this, the famous Aldi bowl, which I 
I have my Dollar Tree pumpkins in. How cute did this turn out? You can either put them in a bowl like this. Oh, maybe. You gotta be very delicate though because the bowl. That's kind of cute. In the comments down below, let's take a vote. If we like it set up in the bowl like this, the quality on these. Pottery Barn shut it down because people are on to y'all. Especially with some of the other things you guys are gonna see in this video. People are going absolutely bonkers for the things that they're finding at Aldi that are absolute replicas of things you can find at Pottery Barn. Tell me how much you think this will cost you at Pottery Barn. If you've never been to Pottery Barn, sit down. Because I'm gonna tell you the prices in a minute and you're not gonna believe people actually buy this stuff. I mean, it's great stuff, super cute, very beautiful designs, but Aldi figured it out. Another way that people usually display these are like on books. And again, I don't have aesthetically pleasing books. Like they're not beige or black or one solid color. My books are all mix and match over the years what I've collected. But people sometimes would just sit them like this. What do you think? Oh, that's cute. Oh, I like this better. So vote. Do you like it in the bowl better or do you like it on top of the books like this? I saw somebody on the TikTok. They went to Dollar Tree, bought yucky books that they're never gonna read. They spray painted them like a neutral color and then displayed them. Is that tacky as hell? Should I just go buy the book? I don't know. The weight on this guy is almost three pounds. This one didn't have a label, so I can't tell you how much that one weighed. These are a dupe for West M, which I think is like the sister company to Pottery Barn. Like I think they're all kind of the same company. It's a dupe of their product. A set of two of these at West M. I told you guys you're not ready. Unbelievable. Will cost you $90. $2. <laughs> a set of two of these at Aldi is going to cost you 14 bucks absolutely crazy. Go to Aldi before they run out. They're probably already gone. On their website, they're styling the books up in this kind of like a holder. I like that. Oh, inspirational juices are flowing now. Me like a dum dum bought one of each. I need two because I need the set so people think I got it at West Elm. So as far as quality, a hundred Vivian heads. As far as value, a thousand Vivian heads. That means five. Oversized beaded garland. Another piece, but this one is gorgeous. And in the pictures on the actual packaging, it shows my bowl. It was meant to be. This one, another dupe. The garland that I saw on the Pottery Barn website was I think 106 inches for $129. I know this one cost me $12.99 and it's longer. It is 115 inches long, crafted out of mango wood. I don't know if that's impressive, but listen, Pottery Barn is about to have a fit because Aldi literally put a target on them. They're like, no ma'am, uh-uh. We're gonna steal all your customers. Vivian's gonna tell them all about all the dupes. Look how beautiful this is. In the picture, they did so good because they did it with candles and they did it with the bowl. <gasps> Look how gorgeous this is. So in the pictures, they're saying like, maybe put out some candles and then you can like, put them around your candles. I could work with this. You're gonna be able to go to Aldi and decorate your entire living room for like 50 bucks. A couple little pieces added in between your decor just makes the place just look chic and put together. Like you tried, but you didn't. All you did was watch me now with the bowl. In their picture, they actually have candles in the bowl, which is also genius. I did not think of that. No one told me to do it like that. Vivian, she sure did do this. Yes, she did. You just saw her. Do you see why you should have gotten this bowl? If you picked up the bowl after I told y'all in that one video, let me know in the comments down below because you're welcome. Celebrity stylist status. That's what I'm saying. Like, give me a raise. Put it on my resume. She is now an interior decorator on a budget because she's going to go to Aldi to buy all your stuff. You're not going to know a difference and I'm going to charge you <laughs> water refund prices. Once the fall season is over and I get the pumpkins out of my my bowl. This is how we're going to set it up. 116 inches of beaded garland. I just gave you two examples. You can do a million different things with this. Quality, excellent, price, superb. So I'm going to give the oversized wooden garland five Vivian heads. Sherpa pumpkin pillow. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Look how big it is. The label said it was 11 inches in diameter. This guy cost me $9.99 and it came in three beautiful colors. Like a dum-dum, I decided to wait to go to the last store to pick these up. They only had this one color there when I had gone to two other stores and they had more options. Guess how much? Add our friends over at Pottery Barn for the same 11 inch diameter Sherpa soft pillow pumpkin. Guess. 
$49.99. $50. So save yourself $40. <laughs> Could you believe that? That means if you want to get two or three of these to get the little set going, you're spending close to $200. I want to be your best friend if you're that bougie to buy some pillows for $50. Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to lie. I thought $9.99 for this pumpkin was a lot. I'm thinking $5.99, $6.99, maybe $7.99. I mean, it's just a pumpkin. <laughs> so very soft. Throw it on the couch. I guess that's where you would put it. I mean, it's a pillow. I don't think you would put it like on a table or anything. I don't know. Correct me if I am wrong, but look how pretty it is. So cozy. Watching movies and leaning on this. Heavenly. And the good thing is that it's just like a pumpkin. So it'll last you the entire season, right? Because pumpkins are allowed all fall. Another thing to note with this one is I thought it was going to be kind of like flat or squishy once you start like laying on it. Oh no, they have double stuffed this guy <laughs> and who doesn't love that? This guy is going to keep its shape for a very long time. Here's what happened. Not in the real world, but just in my head. Aldi called the manufacturer from Pottery Barn and be like, hey, go ahead and throw us some of those over here because we're going to sell them for a fraction of the price. And Vivian's going to tell her friends about it. <laughs> now, here's something that I noticed about Aldi. Last year, Aldi was like discounting stuff quick. This went up one week and like a week later, this was on clearance. Get it out of here. Move. Not now. Have y'all noticed that too? That Aldi is like even things at regular price for a little bit longer than usual. Is it because of me? Am I the problem? We don't like that. I, we need you guys moving inventory quick, clearancing that out quick. Because when I go the next week, I want it to be $2. You might not find these if you wait and do our little trickety trick like we had last year where we waited a week or so to go get stuff like on the cheap. But if you found this for cheaper than $9 or any of the products or any of the items that we purchased in this video, Video, let us know how much you found it for. That's always exciting to hear somebody else got the stuff for way cheaper. So I'm gonna give the Sherpa Pumpkin Pillow by Vivian Head. <laughs> Dollar Tree has knocked off this Olay line, which is their most popular line. They sell everything and very expensive. This is the Dollar Tree side. This is the Olay side. And they will also tell you that they are duping these guys. No dams given. None. Let me tell you, everything that I have tried from this brand, it has really, really impressed me. I don't know if it's a Dollar Tree brand. I don't know if they're bringing it in with that extra quarter we paid them. I don't know what it is, but they have been bringing in the best products, the best dupes, the best quality, the most genius things I have seen at Dollar Tree. This Be Pure brand and all the products that they have brought in, I dare to say that has elevated Dollar Tree into like a Target kind of status. Do you know how much I paid for these? This cost me $8. This cost me $1.25. The Night Cream, the brand name $29, $1.25. Daytime Cream, $27 and some change. The Daytime Cream, $1 dollar and a quarter. This right here cost me $65. This right here cost me $3.75. Y'all better run. If you see this collection, pick it up. If you don't want to pick it up because you're too bougie for it, give it to mom, give it to grandma, give it to somebody else. If you see them, because these will be gone you guys know I go to Dollar Tree a lot. Things like this, when you're duping off brands that are $30 a bottle, instant sellout. People don't play. Who does not want to save $25, $30 per jar? Everybody on earth wants to save that. Just because it's at Dollar Tree, we're not going to hate on it. These boxes look larger, so you're probably going, yeah, Vivian, but you're getting more product here, but not by much. 1.36, 1.7. We're not $25 away from each other. These are face wash. The brand name is giving us five ounces of product be pure giving us four so one ounce less eight dollars a dollar and a quarter when i saw this i got giddy going keep them coming baby <laughs> you're saving us so much money both of them are giving us b5 amino peptide hyaluronic acid peptides hydrating all the things the ingredients are slightly different but you're saving so much money see they trick you with this big old box dollar tree's like listen we're gonna save on the box so we can pass on the savings to y'all look at this don't be fooled. Yes, fancy, but it was all hawks. The so one's a day cream and one's a night cream. That's why we have the second one here. <gasps> <laughs> love that they did the red and the red <laughs> glass oh you guys did that yes you did see what i'm saying do yourself the favor and pick these up let's look i love the packaging the ole now we know the ole it's great stuff okay they don't have this entire line with all the serums and all the things a million products under this line because it's not good it's an excellent product they both look very thick and moisturizing i did pick up the brand name 
one that said fragrant free. Dollar Tree is also fragrant free. Actually, the Dollar Tree one has the nicest little perfume smell. This one does not say fragrant free. The nighttime one says fragrant free. I need to invest not only on Dollar Tree, I need to invest on this Be Pure line. They're exceeding expectations. The brand name one, ooh, very nice. Put some on this side of my hand too. Wow, that's a lot of product, Vivian. Oh, that feels nice. It feels like butter. A little goes a long way for this one. Look how quickly it absorbed into the paper. I cannot knock it except for the price. That's outrageous. Drugstore moisturizer for $30? <gasps> so also absorbing really nice on this side of my hand. This one has a little fragrance, but it smells really good. The Dollar Tree is on this side. The actual brand name is on this side. They don't feel greasy. They're both very buttery. I'm gonna tell you this, the Olay side did feel a little bit more buttery to me than this one did, but they still are so similar. You're not gonna be able to tell. And for a dollar and a quarter, lather your entire body with this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like this, conserve a little bit. Like with this stuff, you want it to last all year. This, go through one of these a week. Dollar Tree Olay. So I'm gonna give the Micro Sculpting Cream Daytime Fragrance Free excellent product, except for the price. So I'm gonna give the brand name one for Vivian Heads. I will knock off a Vivian Head for price. And I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree one five Vivian Heads. Are you kidding? Even the packaging is good. Now the night cream. Brand name one says it is fragrant free and the Dollar Tree one says it is fragrant free. So in grams, it sounds even better. 48 grams of product, 40 grams of product. So you're getting eight grams more of product in this one here. The night cream penetrates 10 layers into the skin surface for intensely hydrated and nourished skin overnight. The Dollar Tree one, the night recovery cream. Oh, I love it. So you know, purple lid, nighttime. You guys win for this one. I'm gonna give you an award. It's in a purple little jar. It looks like the same consistency as the one we tried a second ago. We'll try it on this hand here, since on this hand we put the daytime cream. And look how moisturized my hand is. Listen, I have zero complaints so far about either of the products. So we'll do that much here. Oh, it feels so nice. All I can give you today, obviously, is a first impression. I can only react and try it on my hand to see how I like it. I can only react to the price and kind of what I notice and see in this video but follow me on Facebook and on Instagram if you want to keep up. I'll update you guys as I see things changing, moving, moisturizing, lifting, hydrating, firming, whatever they promise. I'll let you guys know. Oh, same product. Consistency wise, ingredients very similar. I can't say they're completely the same because I don't think they are. Both absorbed super nice. We'll put down a little bit of the one from Dollar Tree. The Olay. Based on my first impression, I'm gonna give the Night Recovery Cream. I will give them four Vivian heads and I'll give the Dollar Tree one five Vivian heads. Now for the face wash. These again have to be first impression, but let's see what kind of fragrance that they have. Let's see how they lather up on my skin. The Dollar Tree one is giving us did you guys notice that? The Dollar Tree one is giving us one ounce less. This one was not sealed. Somebody could have touched it, sniffed it in the store. I won't know. Very thick. This one is the brightening one. They have different kinds, but it is called a cream cleanser. They both say that, so they're very thick. Ooh, this one is not that thick. This one is a little bit runnier. This one seems like it's a moisturizer almost. Impressed with the consistency of this one. Ooh, there is a little bit of grit in there. This exfoliating as well. Vitamin C with peptide 24. That looks like it's gonna clean very well. Now this one, same. Look at the little grit in there. Infused with anti-aging ingredients such as vitamin E, C to help with texture. Dollar Tree, you did good. We'll start with the brand name one first. A little there on my hand. I don't need much. It's just my hand. That feels really nice. It does have that grit on it. It's creamy, so I did not expect it to lather up. Not gonna foam up or anything like that. Very nice. What I expected from the Olay. Dollar Tree on this hand. Oh, okay, this one is very liquidy. So look at all that that just came out. And I was not even squeezing it. This one has a little bit less grit than this one did, but you see how 
that's not lathering up, that's how it's made. That's why it's called a cream cleanser. I'm so excited. I cannot wait for you guys to find it. If you have already found it, why don't you tell me? If you haven't, be on the lookout. So I'm gonna give the brand name one for Vivian Heads once again, and I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree one five. Vivian Heads. Revlon Oil Roller. The Dollar Tree Be Pure Oil Roller. The Revlon $14.49. Dollar Tree, a dollar and a quarter. If you guys are not wrestling somebody for one of these at a Dollar Tree in the next 24 to 48 hours, what are you doing? Because you're saving $13.24 by going to Dollar Tree to pick this one up. For this kind of savings, we'll roll around on the floor. <laughs> For those of you guys that don't know, this little thing has a volcano rock that absorbs oil. You can take this little piece off, your little volcano stone, because you can run it underwater, put it back in, it's fresh. The Dollar Tree one is saying, this volcano stone roller instantly grips the extra oil on your skin. To clean, twist off the top, Huh, sounds familiar. Wash with warm water in your favorite cleanser. Revlon. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to Vivian Tries, number one, it helps me get to the top of YouTube. Number two, ain't nobody on the internet giving you deals like this. Show me. They can tell you all day, are they buying the products and trying them? No, they're not. That's a lie. That only happens here. So welcome to our house. We're family now. The colors are going to probably be a little off because I have used the Revlon before. So it's already taken in some of my DNA. Revlon went for the throat with $14 for that roller. That's absolutely not worth it. Look at Look at Linda. Explain. We're not leaving until you tell us what's going on here. The one from Dollar Tree is a little bit small. You're gonna have to roll a couple more times on your big face. <laughs> Don't get offended if you had a big face. I got a big face. So you're gonna have to roll a little bit more. Not a big deal. Takes an extra minute. This really feels like a very soft polished stone and that's probably exactly what it is. So look at the before. Do you see how it's picked up all the oil on my face? If it wasn't $14, I would not be knocking this product out at all. It's amazing. The Dollar Tree side, look at the before. <laughs> oh. <laughs> see, this is how Dollar Tree embarrasses me sometimes. <laughs> I think this is as natural as it gets, right? You're getting a stone straight off a volcano. All the volcano people are gonna come after us now. Look how it changed color. You see now it's darker. Both sides worked exactly the same. This one's a little squeaky in the beginning, but once you get it going, you get it oiled up with your own natural oils, it works. So I'm gonna give the Revlon one four. Vivian Heads, great product, overpriced. The Dollar Tree, five. Vivian Heads, Neutrogena's Hydro Boost. You know, that's my favorite moisturizer because it's like water-based. They have a lip sleeping mask with hyaluronic acid. So your lips are nice and juicy all night. And when you wake up, give me a kiss. Dollar Tree's dupe of the Neutrogena Hydro Boost sleep mask. Dollar Tree is going to do it for a dollar and a quarter. Neutrogena said, hey, listen, you want plump lips. It's going to cost you. <laughs> Neutrogena is doing the most at $10.87. By buying the one from Dollar Tree, you're saving $9.62. At some point, you guys are going to have to stop fighting for the brands and be like justifying paying $10 for a little lip gloss that is going to be licked away all night. <laughs> listen, I am a splurger when I need to splurge, but if I don't have to, to, or on silly things like this, it's not it's okay, girl. Save your coin. Save almost $10. They both say they are hydrating sleep masks. We are getting the same amount in both products. Give me five, Dollar Tree. <laughs> Give me five. <laughs> There is a pink tint to both of them. It kind of reminds me of that other, I don't know the name of it, that other lip mask that comes like in the little pod. Same color, same feel. Name me the queen of the dupes. You guys are hearing it here first. I'm impressed with myself for this one. I'm gonna rub them in to see if there are any kind of stickiness to them. It's not bad. From Dollar Tree, sick. Stop. Dollar Tree is just poking the bear. On my top lip, I will put the Neutrogena and then on my bottom lip, we'll do the Dollar Tree. I didn't think this through, did I? Same formulation. I know somebody's gonna say, yeah, I'm on the ingredients. <laughs> Some people always asking me for ingredients. Like I got time. I'm gonna just deliver the message. I'm gonna give y'all the tips and the money saving. The 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 the. Y'all gotta do a little bit of legwork. Like we're a team here. Why don't you look up <laughs> and leave it in the comments so that we all know what your research has done? Because at this point, you're enjoying it for free, and I'm making it for free. <laughs> Let me just take a peek while I do that. Look at my lips. The ingredient list from Dollar Tree is a bit longer than <laughs> them. I've added a couple more things to it. Look. 
They feel the same. So I'm gonna give the Neutrogena four Vivian heads and then the Dollar Tree baby. Give me that high five again. Hurry. <laughs> Five Vivian heads. Wet brush, speedy dry, and Dollar Tree just called it brush. Real simple, real basic, even the price. The brand name one, $10.99. Dollar Tree, a dollar and a quarter. You know how much I saved? $9.74. Is a brush not a brush just a brush? I haven't found a magical brush yet. I mean, some brushes are a little bit better. These types of brushes, I mean, what? They look exactly the same. So, explain. Plastic, bristles, see-through, curved. I'm listening. The wet, wet brush. These are new and in style now, these curved ones. I guess they hug your head. One plastic does not feel any better than the other. The shape is slightly different, but Dollar Tree had a couple of different styles of this one. Maybe they're saving us the money because they didn't give us a box. What could be different here? Is it organic plastic? I don't understand the difference. Okay, I'm gonna use the brand name one on this side of my hair. I do like how it's hugging my head. I didn't get it before. I'm like, what's so special about this curve? It's literally like cupping my skull. This side with the Dollar Tree one. Ready? Let's put them like this next to each other. The one from Dollar Tree has an extra curvature to it. That's the only difference. For all of those reasons, I'm gonna give this guy five Vivian heads. Vix inhaler, the brand name Vix, the Dollar Tree dupe. They didn't care. They said packaging, colors, style, name, everything. <laughs> copy and paste, baby, copy and paste it. The brand name one cost $6.47, Dollar Tree $1.25. That is saving me $5.52. And I love this idea. I've never tried these before. Stick it in your purse and just all day. <laughs> I'm not okay with the smell being off. If it wasn't a turn off for sexy time, I would wear it at night too. Same ingredients, same order. What are you gonna say now? We'll try the Vicks first. Twisty, twisty. Mm. You could have fooled me, but these look like they're exactly the same. I mean, the little thing on top and everything. So why do these things relax me? Do they relax you? Don't do that. Way out of hand, Vivian. If you handed this to me and said it's Vicks, I'd be like, okay, it's a little off. Maybe it got hot in your purse and the smell, <laughs> like I would make an excuse for it. I'd be like, okay, fine, perfect, Vicks. It's a little off and it's about that time of year where you might need it. Over so $1.25, run. I haven't seen these in all the stores. I always give this warning because then people start driving around looking for Dollar Trees that have these and sometimes you can't find them. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the brand name one four Vivian heads because of price. I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree one five Vivian heads. Poopery, <laughs> Dollar Tree's dupe of the Poopery. Look at the size difference and the price difference. The brand name one cost me $6.99 for two sprays. <laughs> I don't know how many sprays are in there, but that looks tiny. Dollar Tree gave me this nice little pump for a dollar and a quarter. I buy the Dollar Tree when I saved $5.75 and they're the same scent. The brand name one is giving me 10 milliliters. Dollar Tree gave me 55 milliliters. You ain't gotta get all fancy with that. It's for poo. <laughs> You'll never convince me unless it doesn't work, right? Because the idea is that it masks the poo odor from coming out of the toilet. If you're on that Tinder day, <laughs> you might want to carry this with you. It's polite if you have an emergency because otherwise, absolutely not. Wait till you get home. But sometimes you have an emergency. You're sweating. Growling starts. <laughs> you don't have a choice. I purchased these to try them with and also from Dollar Tree. Look how cute these plastic things are for like a candy table. I know you're probably wondering, Vivian, how are you going to test to see if this is going to work? Well, I have this amazing spray and you can get it on Amazon. <laughs> this spray, <laughs> if you want to get slapped in the mouth for disrespecting somebody with a fart, <laughs> this is what you... Like that's how aggressive this is. This is intense. This is professional movie grade fart. I don't know how they packaged it. I don't know that it's legal to spray it anywhere. Even taking the cap off this guy is gonna make you throw up. <laughs> so what I did beforehand is I put two little raspberries in this baggie. Then I sprayed them with this. First step is going to be to spray our toilet water. That's how you use these, okay? You don't spray it after the fact, you spray it before. You sit down, you drop your raspberries in, and that should mask the scent, the funk, from escaping. That's the idea. This is great for vacations. I already smell. <laughs> you see that? It slapped me in my mouth. Even this baggie cannot contain. It's sealed, and I can still smell it. The ba 
I'm gonna vomit during this video. First time in the history of Vivian Trice. I think you have to shake them. Spray twice or as desired. It says at least two, depending on the severity of the emergency, you know, because otherwise go home. I'm gonna do more than two. This is an emergency, you could not wait. I gotta pull over and go into Starbucks. That kind of emergency. Two, that is not enough. Three, four, five, six. Two little sprays is not gonna help. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, they smell so good. This one doesn't smell as good. This one smells so good. I would just spray that for fun. I'm gonna give you Vivian heads for that scent. This one has a weird scent to it. I feel like it's gonna mix in it. Mm. The moment of truth and the moment that we must work fast. Mm. Oh. Without questions asked, I would take the Dollar Tree in this scenario. This one is a mixture of this guy and this guy. If you wanna be absolutely secure, I'm gonna trust this guy right now, the Dollar Tree one. All I smell is this divine fragrance that's coming out of this thing. And I know this is a great product. It's been around for a long time and it was first on its market, all the things. Dollar Tree for the win here. So I'm gonna give the brand name one three Vivian heads and I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree one five Vivian heads. Eco Tools makeup sponge infused with antimicrobial silver. Have you ever heard of that? A lot of people warn about these little makeup sponges because they get like bacteria in them. People don't wash them right. But with this silver infused antimicrobial stuff, it's not gonna happen. This costs $10.49. Dollar Tree has the same thing for a dollar and a quarter with the infused silver microbial thingy. Infused with silver particles to keep your sponge clean cleaner and fresher for longer. Have you ever seen somebody's makeup sponge? Some of them are disgusting. I don't know how they do it. I'm just impressed. Look how absolutely gorgeous this sponge is. Probably the prettiest sponge I have seen. The brand name one brings two. It has like a little mini and it's kind of shaped a little bit different. It is way firmer. If you've never used one of these before, you can use it dry, but it's recommended to get like a really nice effect that you put them in water first to let them absorb the water. Look how big that's gotten already. But you definitely want to put it in water to get a really nice kind of like an airbrush look. That's how I apply my makeup. Oh, why is this turning? Is that the silver? Dollar Tree, you're not looking very good. Water is turning blue and it's still super soft, but I'm concerned. Maybe the first time you're supposed to rinse it out, y'all better call into the hotline. That's another thing. Don't complain to me about Dollar Tree. I don't work for them. I'm not corporate. I'm not, they call them. I don't know. Look at the size. It's very hard. Hard. This one's not releasing any of the green. Keep that in mind in case you're scared of the color. Look how pretty they are. And I also do this where I take a napkin and then I squeeze it out even more. You don't want it to be like wet. Here's Vivian, the uh, makeup guru. <laughs> We'll start with the brand name one. And I always go up and out. I totally wiped all that off. <laughs> That's what I do. I blend and blend and blend and blend until I have no makeup on my face. This is the idea. You see that? I don't like how that feels. It's not soft enough for me now. This squishy cloud of butter, I love it. Same, brand name side, Dollar Tree side. The Dollar Tree one is just blending out so much nicer. I don't know if it's because the sponge is so soft, it's gently like blending it out. Maybe this one's so hard that it's just grabbing so much product off. Every time I look over and I see the blue water. It is a little concerning. I don't know what's going on there, but I'm so impressed with the price, the quality, the antimicrobial silver technology that's built into it. Like they did all that for five quarters. So for all of those reasons, I'm going to give the Dollar Tree one five Vivian heads and I'm going to give the brand name one three Vivian heads. Blossom lip glosses and lip balms. The Dollar Tree Be Pure dupes. The Blossom cost me $12.99 for three of these small little products. Not only that, look how Amazon delivered it to me. Like it was literally like crushed like that when I got it. You guys are pissing me off. When I could go to Dollar Tree and buy these guys for under $3. And what's special about these lip glosses and lip balms, they have real flowers in them. And I am already impressed with the one from Dollar Tree. Look how beautiful those flowers look inside. I guess that's why this brand became kind of trendy. I don't know what the flowers do. They're giving me anti-aging properties or something, I don't know. This one is also a lip gloss with flowers in it. This one is coconut scented. I love the idea, it's super cute. And I thought I had seen them at Walmart, but I couldn't find them. I don't know if they pulled them out of store. Now this one does give us three. Roll on lip gloss. 
At first, I thought it was kind of cheesy with the flowers, but it is really pretty. The brand name is giving me 0.1 fluid ounce. The Dollar Tree is giving me 0.2 fluid ounces of product. The next one is this also a lip gloss with beautiful flowers inside. And here is the one from Dollar Tree. And then the brand name one gave me this little bonus lip balm. So each of the brand name ones cost me $4.33. The two Dollar Tree ones cost me under $3. <laughs> Look how beautiful this is. Color changing. <gasps> okay, now I'm excited. <laughs> the large brand name one is watermelon and then the small one is coconut scented. The Dollar Tree ones, one is coconut and one is vanilla scented. The brand new one has really impressed me just as far as quality packaging, the way it looks. So we'll start with the coconut scented roll-on glass bottle. It's always the Dollar Tree one, but I don't know why this one looks so good. The flowers are just really pretty and they look like very vibrant. Oh, oh they nailed the flavor or the scent. It almost feels like a lip oil. Moisturizing and flavored formula. I would totally use this on a daily basis. This is very impressive. Blossom, I think that's your name. Nice work. I am very impressed with your product. Very moisturizing. The scent is divine. Okay, let me take it off. Try the Dollar Tree, cross your fingers that it's similar. <laughs> oh, wait. I think this is vanilla. This is not the coconut. Yeah, this is vanilla. Not as nice but still very glossy moisture. These are great. You guys, I was not expecting these to be so good. I'm still leaning towards the brand name for the little roll-ons. These are new to Dollar Tree. I hadn't seen these. Not sticky. Those feel so, so nice. If I didn't care about price, I would totally go for the brand name one, but the Dollar Tree is holding up. This one is watermelon, I believe. It smells like watermelon. Oh, that's a lot. That feels like any other lip gloss. I don't know why the roll-ons felt amazing on. These feel a little bit sticky. The Dollar Tree one is the coconut now. Okay, that's the same thing. Dollar Tree. <laughs> I think somebody needs to transition into a different department because you guys don't know what coconut smells like. And I've been complaining about this for ye five, six years already, maybe more. I've been doing this a long time. At this point, it's embarrassing. Like you guys can't even nail Coconut, it feels the same as this one, juicy and all the things, but scent wise, I would leave it. I would not use it again. So for all of those reasons, I will give the Blossom Roll-On five Vivian heads and the Dollar Tree five Vivian heads. The lip glosses, I will give the brand name one four Vivian heads. Rogaine Hair Growth Treatment Walmart Dupe. Real quick before we get started. We're gonna end the stigma of buying products like this because people like are embarrassed to buy. I don't give a shit. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how you have to live your life. We don't care what people think. If you wanna buy some Rogaine, buy you some Rogaine and don't buy the Okay, buy the Walmart one. I'm gonna tell you that now. They're the exact same product. Save yourself the money. Number one, it works. Number two, who cares? Somebody sees this in your bathroom and they're like, why do you have Rogaine? And they your business. But I feel like a lot of people hear Rogaine and they feel like, shh, don't tell nobody. If we wanna keep our hair looking lush and beautiful for a thousand years, we are gonna buy some Rogaine. Something I noticed, I'm seeing the tables turning here. The Rogaine for women used to be a 2% minoxidil, now it's five. Remember, the girls were going to the men's section to buy that minoxidil, which is 5%. If you have 2%, that doesn't work. It has to be 5% minoxidil. The 2% is gonna take you seven years and you're gonna stop using it, not only for your head, for other things. And I'm gonna show you here in a second, a little life hack. Brand name one, which is still amazing, 5% minoxidil, is gonna cost you $33.34 and it's gonna give you a two month supply. This used to be like $50 and I got the foam and I'm gonna tell you why in a second. The Walmart one, two month supply, 5% is gonna cost you $21.98. Are you kidding me? These used to be so expensive way back, at least the brand name one was. By buying the Walmart one, you're saving 11 and some change. So buy this all day. Now I mentioned earlier, the the girls used to run over to the men's section to buy the 5% minoxidil, but when I went to check the men's, it's more expensive than the female one now. Both still at 5%. Go to the women's section now, boys, and pick you up the women's minoxidil. If you want even a better deal, you go to Costco and you buy theirs. Costco will sell you like a six month supply.
supply for 49 bucks. It's the best deal on the market. But if you don't want to get that crazy with it, you just want a little bit, then just go to Walmart and pick you up a two month supply. Now this comes in a foam like this, or it also comes in a liquid form. I've always used the liquid, but I'm switching over to the foam because I heard it's better. I believe on the packaging it says to put it on and allow it to dry before you go to bed, like four hours before you go to bed. So don't put this on and then go lay down on your pillow because it could get on your pillow and then rub on your face. Don't do that. Just put it on a couple hours before you go to bed and then it dries and then you're done or do it in the morning. The reason I switched to the foam instead of the liquid is because there's less chances of it moving. So the liquid is like a little dropper thing and sometimes it kind of like trickles down your face. This is a foam. Wherever you put it, rub it in, it's done. It's not going to run down your face. Chances of it transferring somewhere else are less. This is forever. This is not, I used it for six months. My hair is beautiful. I la la la. I grew in. It's big and thick and la la. No, no, no. This is just like brushing your teeth. It's just part of the beauty regimen. It's going to take you one minute a day to use this. A second ago, I said you could use this for other areas. Put it on your head, massage it in real good. You don't have to do it all over. Just put it in the spots. Here, some girls need it in the front, on the sides. But here's a trick. The way to use this, if you have the foam and you want to use it in other areas, I haven't told you the areas yet, on your eyebrows. Do not put this on your eyelashes. Absolutely not. Eyebrows. Just a little bit. Here's what I do to keep these fluffy boys going. As you age, these get thinner as well. I get a little brush like this, a little makeup brush. I dip it into my foam. I brush it on. Boom. There's a beauty hack. Vivian, how do you stay looking gorgeous? <laughs> Real game. I have no shame in my game. We're going to try everything. The reason you want to put this in a little plate or something is because you want it to sit. Obviously, you don't want to put foam on your face like that. You want it to be a controlled application. So if you just use a little bit like this, or you can apply it like this. Now it's controlled. We keep it sexy at all times, and that's even with our hair treatment. Super easy. Grab a little bit on your brush and just brush it on, touching your skin, okay? You want it to be applied to your skin, not just the hairs. Brush it where you want hair to grow. Don't brush it all the way down here. You have to give this time. Don't give up after two treatments or two weeks. Minimum three months. If it doesn't work, they'll let you return it. You apply it on here. You allow it to dry completely and you're done. After three months, you're going to be like, thank you, Vivian. Now, if you start using this and you see a little growth and then you're like, that's it. If you stop using it, it stops working. Like it'll go back to the way it was before you begun. You cannot go wrong with either of these. So for all of those reasons, I'm going to give Rogaine five Vivian heads. I'm going to give the Walmart dupe five Vivian heads. Brain health gummies. Brand name one, $32. The dupe from Walmart, $19.88. Brand name is giving us 50 gummies. Walmart is giving us 60 gummies gummies. It is clinically tested to help you with memory, focus, concentration, accuracy, and learning. Who does not need all that? And it's a gummy. I heard this brand is that's why they're so expensive. Walmart said, yeah, we heard you're really good too, so we're going to do it for cheaper because we want people to buy from us. We're saving a lot of money here. We're saving $13 a bottle by buying the one from Walmart. This one is strawberry flavor. You want to take two of the Walmart one and you want to take two of the brand name one. It has a nice strawberry smell. Now, obviously, I can't tell if this is going to help my brain in one day. As it helps me, I will give you guys an update. You guys know where to follow me, Facebook, Instagram. <laughs> Oof. Oh, the smell is not nice. The Walmart one promises all the same stuff. It has clinically studied ingredients. Oh, this one smells so nice. This is the brand name one. I've tried Walmart gummies before and they always have a miss on the texture and the smell. The brand name one seems a little fresher, if that makes sense. These look like they've been there for a few months. <laughs> they probably have. Oh, and softer too in texture. Ingredients look the same. Let's give it a try. Brand name one. Mm, very nice. I can totally do that every day. Tastes like candy. And if you're new to my channel, I'm a sucker for supplements, vitamins, anything anti-aging. Mm. The Walmart one, the flavor is fine. They're just not as soft as that one. If you've used this brand before and you have some feedback for us, let us know in the comments of this video so we know we should continue using these. Once I've finished these two bottles, if they're working, I'm just picking up the Walmart one because I see no difference. So I'm going to give the brand name gummy for Vivian Heads, knocking off of Vivian head for price. And I'm giving the Walmart one five Vivian heads. Phillips laxative capsules. 
Walmart dupe. I'm telling you all the secrets in this video. This is a natural cramp free way to go to the bathroom. I have been using this product 10 years. If they need a spokesperson, I'm her. I buy it at full price until I saw that Walmart had the dupe because a box of this will cost you $9.88 for 55 tablets. The Walmart one will cost you literally half the price, $4.94 for the same 55. Now I've never tried the Walmart one. I just found them when I was shopping for the dupes. But let me tell you about the Phillips. In case you've never used it, if you need assistance going to the bathroom and you've ever taken a laxative, that is the worst pain on earth. I can't do the pain, the cramps in the stomach and the on the toilet. No, ma'am. When I found this, I could not believe it. When it says cramp free, I've never felt discomfort, pain, cramp, nothing. It's a gentle relief from natural source magnesium. They both have the same amount of active ingredient, which is magnesium, 500 milligrams. They both say the same thing. Now, I can't tell you that this one's not gonna give you a cramp. I have never experienced cramps, anything. I take it four to six hours later, done. It stays in the house at all times. Listen to me talking like they pay me money. They don't pay me money, they don't know me. I just wanna make sure my friends are taken care of. One time somebody gave me a little pink laxative. Have you seen those? They're like for women, they're pink. I almost went to the ER because of the pain. They're a little bit big. Don't be scared about it. Maybe you don't think this is big. These are big to me. Oh, and don't even try to go buy these like at CVS or Walgreens. They have lost their mind. I heard they're closing some stores. The prices at CVS, you just go, are y'all literally price gouging me right now? Like that's how I feel sometimes. Okay, these are a little bit smaller. The Walmart ones are just a little bit bigger. Oh, it doesn't say cramp free. Uh oh, be careful with these. Maybe start with one. Per tablet of the Walmart one is gonna cost you nine cents. The Philips brand name one tablet is gonna cost you 19 cents. So double the price. So I'm gonna give the Philips five Vivian heads. And I didn't even take a Vivian head off for price. That's how much I love it. The Walmart one, I'm gonna give it five Vivian heads as well. Soap bar saver pouches. I think it's a loofah that you stick a soap in. Isn't that good? I love the idea. Walmart will sell you two for $3.98 or Dollar Tree will sell you one, a beginner pack. <laughs> if you absolutely love it and you need a fancier one, go to Walmart, but that's how we do it. $1.25. The ones from Walmart feel a little bit thicker and they come in different colors. Place your soap inside of the pouch and oh, I thought it went all the way through. No, it stays in there. Also helps to produce a creamier, rich lather and is easy on the skin. Drawstring allows you to hang the soap in your shower to dry. Soap bar, place it in. But look, it just sits in there and then you just pull this down and then you just take it out. Why do I think it's such a great idea? We'll start with the Walmart one. Let's see. Wait a second, look at that. It feels fantastical. I'm gonna bathe right in front of you. <laughs> Am I ever gonna go back to a regular basic shower? I'm not. And then you can just hang it like this to dry. So hopefully your soap lasts longer. The Dollar Tree one. This is shower game changing right here. You're gonna be squeaky clean and who doesn't love a squeaky clean? I'm never going back. So now I have a loofah and a soap loofah. Even when I take the bar of soap out, look how much lather is still on that thing. I don't think you can go wrong with either of these two products. So I'm gonna give the brand name one five Vivian heads and I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree one five Vivian heads. Workout tape for us athletes. The brand name one was not even brand name. This is a Walmart dupe versus the Dollar Tree dupe. The brand name was like 10 bucks. The Walmart cost $5.84. When somebody's wearing some of this, you know they work out. For real workout, not like a pretend workout like we do. It helps with preventing splains. It is waterproof and it will last up to five days. Walmart may help to reduce muscle pain, increases mobility by providing support. There it is right there. Walmart is giving me 5.4 yards of product. Product. Dollar Tree is giving me 2.23 yards of product. By buying the Dollar Tree one at 125, <gasps> are you following me on Facebook? Because I just published a link to where they're saying they're rolling back prices at Dollar Tree. I almost fell out of my chair. Which corporation have you ever heard of that rolls back price increases like that? And I'm not sure when yet. I'm just spreading the rumor. I don't have all the details. <laughs> Dollar Tree one per yard is costing us 56 cents. Walmart one is still costing us $1.8 per yard. And I know what you're saying to yourself. Vivian, I don't need this. Yes, you do. Because I have life hack for you. Dollar Tree brand name. You can definitely see the amount of yards that are missing from the one from Dollar Tree. The texture feels like a cloth. Let me tell you the life hack real quick. Mouth taping. It's a new trendy thing that is probably some kind of witchcraft, but we're going to try. <laughs> I heard that it helps with anti-aging. 
And we know we're all about that. Whatever they tell us to do, we do. At least we try. Also heard it helps with supporting your jaw. It helps with snoring overnight. It's stretchy. Ah, I saw a girl on the internet and she was using this to tape up her boob. It's not this kind of tape, but it's similar. I don't know if you use it for this. Look how stretchy it is. So just imagine this is your calf. <laughs> Two life hacks. For the mouth, it's gonna support the jaw to go to sleep like this. And then in the morning, you just take it off. If you've used mouth tape before, let us know in the comments down below. This is multi-purpose, multi-use. <laughs> Texture-wise, same. I think they're made at the same place. It's just an assumption. Somebody said, why do I whisper? I don't. If I was just doing this, I couldn't tell you who's who. If your shoulder hurts, slowly bring it down and then you adjust. I feel supported already. What do you think? Oh, it feels very comfortable. No wonder it says it will last up to five days. I did not realize it was gonna feel so nice. Walmart. And what I like about it is that it's kind of forgivable. Like I could take it off and reapply it. They feel exactly the same on. I feel the same support. School starting up. If the kids need some of this stuff, go to Dollar Tree. Based on my first impressions, save yourself the four bucks. So I'm going to give the Walmart one four Vivian heads and I'm going to give the Dollar Tree one five Vivian heads. Mirror lax. Clear lax. <laughs> Walmart said nobody cares that they were that close. This is to keep you regular. The brand name one cost me $8.67. The Walmart dupe cost me $4.88. That is saving me $3.79. The bottles, exactly the same. 4.1 ounces of product in each. It says you can pour into any drink and it's not gonna change the flavor. I know some people do this in the morning with their coffee. They just throw a little bit in. I also wanna see if it's like gonna completely dissolve. That's what I was saying, is it fiber? Because fiber will chunk up on you and then you're having oatmeal and then you gotta go fast and you're gonna choke and then they're gonna have to call the paramedics and they're gonna be like, what happened? Uh, her fiber <laughs> stuck in her throat. Cut it. I'm very dramatic. My mind goes to worst case scenario. If they're the same, you don't think I'm gonna save almost four bucks? Especially if you have to use it every day. Unflavored powder, grit free. Smell the brand name one first. I smell a chemical. It might be my nose. You guys know. My nose and my imagination run their own lives. I'm not in control there. I don't know what it is. Disinfectant. I don't know. We're a little bit out. Claire Lacks is such a great name, isn't it? They should win an award for that. <gasps> if you told me that these were made at different factories, I would call you a liar to your face. These are made at the same place. In my non-professional opinion, I don't know nothing about this. Easy peasy to use. You just sprinkle a little bit into your drink. I'm gonna do this little baby teaspoon into each one. Don't get chunky on me now. Dissolved very nicely. It only took a few seconds, so that's very impressive. Subscribe to this girl right here because she's the only one doing it like this. And if anybody copies her they're the dupe brand name first I can do this delicious I feel none of it it's gone it tastes like nothing very impressed the Walmart dupe save yourselves the four dollars no difference the exact same amount of active ingredient in both it's really good I'm super impressed with it so save yourself the money I'm gonna give the brand name one four Vivian heads clear lax wins all kinds of awards I'm gonna give the clear lax five <laughs> I just want to keep saying clear lax it makes me happy when I say it five Vivian heads. American Crew Fiber High Hold Low Shine. But I know it's for the boys. It could be for anybody, but it's targeted towards the boys. I'm sure that it will work on any hair. And the price difference on this one is outrageous. Brand name one is gonna cost you $17.84 for that little guy. Walmart's dupe, $7.54. Somebody call American Crew and let's find out what's going on over there. They act like we're at a high-end salon. Excuse me, we're at Walmart. I thought I was like in a high-end JCPenney's salon. Do y'all miss going to the mall? Do y'all miss Sears? <laughs> I miss Sears, I miss Kmart. By buying the Walmart one over the brand name one, you're gonna save $10.30. They're the same amount too. The Walmart one is giving you 3.8 ounces. Oh, wait a second, what's going on here? This isn't exposed because a lot of the products that I have here on my table, it's more than 50% markup, a lot of them. The brand name one is giving us three ounces of product. Walmart is giving us 3.8. Okay, butter, Walmart's giving us even the same little swirl. Tell me, which one's which? You can't tell. It might be a perfect dupe. The name brand first. Look at that. Mantequilla. That's what that is. Spanish word of the day. So what? Listen, if you're buying this for your husband or your teenage son, if they can tell a difference, I would be shocked. The consistency is the same. The smell is the same. I don't want to warm it up with my finger. Brand name one rubbed in really nice. Walmart dupe. Now let's try it on her hair. She's been in a bag. I'm just going to scoop it from here. That much. I think you have to like... 
That's looking cute. Look at her curls on this side. I'm gonna buy the Walmart dupe. I wanna say 50%. Oh, look at that. It's working the same. Look how cute her hair looks. She's a little wonky. I just styled that in like five minutes. I'm a beautician now. Come over, I'm gonna dye your hair blonde. <laughs> don't trust me with some bleach. I think they're made on the same product line. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. That's what it seems like. Our new rule is we're not fighting for the brand. We're fighting for our coins. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the brand name one four Vivian heads and I'm gonna give the Walmart dupe five. Vivian heads. Liquid IV and the Walmart dupe. I'm not a fan of liquid IV. It is too salty. Just my opinion of it, it's like salt with a flavor on top. But people swear by it. I mean, obviously, Walmart has noticed and they duped it. If you don't know what liquid IV is, electrolyte mixed drink. Like a Pedialyte or Gatorade, I think. The brand name one is expensive, in my opinion. The brand name one is giving me six little packets for $8.98. The Walmart dupe is giving me the same six packets for $5.76. That is saving us $3.22 per box. But I have tried it in the past. I haven't tried this flavor, lemon lime. Maybe that helps the saltiness part of it. I'm probably dehydrated. I probably need to take this for my own health. Here are the six packs that you're getting with the brand name one. Here are the ones from Walmart, great value. The liquid IV lemon lime smells like pine salt. Remember, these are all my opinions, my thoughts. Doesn't mean you're not gonna love it when you try it. It just means my taste buds are different than yours. I don't know. Ooh completely different texture. I'm glad I opened it like that. The liquid IV is very coarse and very grainy, almost like salty texture. Walmart one looks like sugar, very powdery calories. The liquid IV has 45 calories. The Walmart one has 50 calories. They both have 500 milligrams of sodium. The liquid IV has 11 grams of carbs. Walmart one has 13 grams of carbs. So just keep that in mind. People count carbs. It's important important. So let's serve up just a little shot of it. I'm just going to put a small amount of water in a small amount of each product. Walmart dissolved super quickly. Same amount of the brand name one, Liquid IV. Ooh, the Walmart one dissolved instant. This one is more grainy. I can still see like the pieces of, of the product still floating in there. They both look very similar. We'll try the brand name one first. If you hate liquid IV, you might want to try the lemon lime. I don't know if the lemon lime kind of neutralizes the saltiness, but this is actually pretty good. I would drink this. Let's try the Walmart. The same. This one has a nicer smell of lemon, but I can't taste the saltiness behind it. Very similar. They're not the same exact product. So similar, you're not gonna be able to tell the difference. In my opinion, save yourself the money and buy yourself the Walmart one and get you the lemon lime if you don't like that saltiness. This is room temperature water. I imagine cold, it tastes even better. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the lemon lime liquid IV. I'm gonna give that one four Vivian heads. I'm gonna give the Walmart dupe five Vivian heads. Heads. Alcohol wipes, alcohol wipes, 70% alcohol. I didn't know these were a thing. These are not like the bleach wipes. No, it's like rubbing alcohol. Why is this like a germophobes dream come true? Like for me, I will take this over a bleach wipe any day of the week. Target is giving us 40 wipes for $3.99. Dollar Tree is giving us 80 wipes for a dollar and a quarter. By buying the one from Dollar Tree here, I'm saving $2.74. The one from Dollar Tree is also 75% alcohol when the one from Target is 70% alcohol. When you're disinfecting things, maybe your skin, they sell you the little pads like this. Maybe you have a big area that you need to disinfect. For restrooms, phone devices, on the go, kitchen, gym. Mm, for the gym, for those that go, I don't know, the gym, I wouldn't know. Shopping cart, office, restaurant and travel. If somebody can tell me what's the difference between like a bleach disinfectant wipe and an alcohol wipe. The Dollar Tree one comes sealed so it does not dry out on you. These came open. The one from Target says first aid to help prevent infection. Minor cuts. Who's putting alcohol on minor cuts? Scrapes and burns. <laughs> you can survive. You're automatically in the crew. We need brave soldiers like you. The one from Dollar Tree is lemon scented, but it's pure alcohol. Tattoo. If you're getting a sleeve, here's the size. Larger than the one from Target. The one from Target's on top. The bottom one is the Dollar Tree. This was a great find from Dollar Tree. I will continue to buy these. They actually smell really good. It says made in the USA. Let's see how strong the Dollar Tree is. Ah, 
that's nice. Let's see the one from Target. Ooh, very stretchy. Let me wipe my counter here. Because they're alcohol, you know alcohol dries super fast. So these are drying out so quickly. Oh, they're both working exactly the same. The ones from Target do have like a wilted look to them. The Dollar Tree ones are just like little plain ones, but look how filthy they are. Just by cleaning this thing I had at Target, they're in the pharmacy because I think they are used for like scrapes and cuts and things like that. At Dollar Tree, you'll find them where the detergents are, but they're pretty much almost dry already. So you gotta work fast with these guys. I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree five Vivian heads. The price is good, it smells good, it has more alcohol, and they're giving me more wipes. The new dupes line at Dollar Tree is outrageous. Out of control. They're going after Hydro Boost, my absolute favorite brand from Neutrogena that I cannot get enough of the hyaluronic acid water cream they got it right here look a dollar 25 the Neutrogena $19.99. Just right there. You know how much I'm saving? $18.70. I am a fanatic of this. Fanatic. They have the wipes. The Neutrogena wipes cost me $6.87. $1.25. That's saving me. $5.62 for some wipes. I'm not a fanatic of the wipes because I feel like a wipe is a wipe is a wipe. The water gel? That's a different story. The last one, which I did not buy because I could not find, was the Hydro Boost Hand Cream. I, I couldn't find it at Walmart or Target. Throw it in your purse and always feel delicious because it's going to absorb like water. Not like an oily lotion-y. Oh no, if you've never tried this Neutrogena Hydro Boost line, you're missing out in life. The hand cream cost me $1.25 a Dollar Tree, but the brand name one, if you can find it, runs about $11. So by buying the one at Dollar Tree, you're saving 10 bucks. We all win. We don't have to see the crustiness. <laughs> you don't have to be crusty. <laughs> Here's what I've noticed about Dollar Tree. They're hitting up entire lines. You remember the Olay? They see what Aldi's doing and they're like, we can do the same. The Neutrogena has a nice scent. We'll do the Dollar Tree over here. Oh my God. You guys, if you've never tried these gel, I know, and some people are like, where is it made, Vivian? Which country, which city, which, I don't, I'm not a researcher or a dentist, excuse me. Look at that. I mean, you can see it's going on like water. When you put this on, it feels like you're just splashing water onto you. Like that's how delicious this stuff feels. That's why I will pay regular price for the Neutrogena because it just feels so good. And the smell is not bad. It does have a perfumey smell. It does say this product is not made or distributed by by Neutrogena. They just want you to know. They're not together. They're not tied. They're not nothing. Here on the table, you'll be able to see that the one from Dollar Tree seems a little bit more watery. The Neutrogena one is a little bit more creamy. That makes a big difference with these water gels. If you have not tried the Neutrogena Hydro Boost and you want to try it, but you don't want to spend the 20 bucks to buy this guy, I would say start here. You might be surprised. If you absolutely love this, then go get you the name brand one and spend the extra dollars. But you might want to start here to see what this whole water gel thing is all about. So for all of those reasons, Neutrogena, obviously, I give them five Vivian heads even at the price point because it's so good and I am a huge fan. I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree one five Vivian heads as well. Now let's try the hand water gel to see if it's similar to the face cream. Like if you're scared of Dollar Tree and what kind of ingredients they put in there, put it elsewhere. If you don't wanna put it on your face, like just test it to see if you like it or if it reacts funny. This is what they did. They put this in a tube and called it <laughs> hand cream. It's the same thing. Actually, that is very close to what the Neutrogena one feels like. I don't think you can go wrong picking up any of these products just to test out and try. You might hate them. You might love them. So that's impressive. So I'm going to give the hand cream five Vivian heads. Lidocaine gel and the Dollar Tree lidocaine gel. The dupe of this, it says compared to this guy. Or like sunburns. Not just for the cooling sensation. Like the lidocaine is going to help with the burning <laughs> sensation. If you've ever had a sunburn, I burned bad. This is very helpful when you're traveling on your cruise. You need some of this. But why pay $9.99 when you can get it at Dollar Tree for $1.25? That's $8.74. And if your entire body is sunburned like, <laughs> like neck down... Taking a shower that day, <laughs> I'm getting choked up. If I would have had some of this, could I have been saved? It relieves the pain associated with minor burns. Oh, is it good for like when you're cooking and you touch something and you burn your hands? It really, this is a multi-purpose, multi-use. Y'all better have this stocked up in the house. Well, Dollar Tree now carries it. Dollar Tree has 0.5% lidocaine. The brand name one has 0.5% lidocaine. The same amount of lidocaine in in both. The brand name one comes in a nice little squeezy bottle. Dollar Tree, same little squeezy bottle. 
Do they smell? I thought they were gonna smell like medicine, but I don't smell anything. The active ingredient in both is the same ingredient and the same amount. So I don't know what we could argue about. <laughs> They're not made by the same people, but as long as the active ingredient is the same, I mean, what else are we paying for? Dollar Tree feels like any other gel. Is it gonna numb my hand? I wonder if this would also help for like tattoos. Probably doesn't have enough lidocaine for that. Brand name one, it's the same. They feel nice, they feel the same. Same cooling sensation from both hands. This one's pretty straightforward. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the brand name one four Vivian heads and I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree one five Vivian heads. Dove Body Beauty Bar and the Dollar Tree knockoff of the Dove Bar, but you're getting two for a dollar and a quarter. Why is soap so expensive? Somebody tell me that. Have y'all noticed that? One bar cost me $1.47. The Dollar Tree one is also a beauty bar, deeply moisturizing bar of soap. The soap industry is so mysterious to me. If I'm traveling, Dove's given to me like this. The Dollar Tree one is nice and sealed. I like this better. The Dollar Tree bar is three ounces. The Dove is only 2.7 ounces. I saved 85 cents by buying two of them at <laughs> Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree one says contains no animal fats made 100% of pure vegetable oil. Interesting. Again, I don't know anything about the soap industry, even though I am a... The soap industry is new to me. The ingredient list is different. I already know what the Dove's gonna do because everybody knows Dove. <laughs> All that's lathering up nicely. Feels good. Fresh water for the one from Dollar Tree. Lathering up very fast. I like the smell. It doesn't smell expensive. It actually smells like inexpensive soap from Dollar Tree, but I like that smell. I don't know why. Maybe it's nostalgia from growing up. Hey, okay, look how well that lathered up. So nice. While we all love Dove and you can't go wrong with that soap, I like the smell and the way that the Dollar Tree one lathered up. And I like the price too. So for all of those reasons, I'm going to give the Dove Soap five Vivian heads. It's fine. It's Dove. And I'm going to give the Dollar Tree one five Vivian heads as well. Tower 28 blush and lip combo two-in-one multi-purpose multi-use. We love that. The brand name one cost me $20. $20 for this? You guys are ballin' because Dollar Tree has the same clean, brand new, put it on the five o'clock news, clean cosmetics. Sephora, Ulta, all these brands, for the word clean, they charge you an extra $37. Dollar Tree did not raise their price and they're still giving you the Be Pure Clean Beauty Cosmetics now. Brands are in trouble. All these little buzzwords that go around that they use to mark up prices. Dollar Tree's like, okay, fine. Ours is clean too. Still a dollar and a quarter. What are y'all doing? It is also a duo combo lip and cheek color. Creamy, save yourselves eight. $15.75 just with this one product because you can cut that dollar and a quarter in half because you're getting two products out of this. Peach Please. Buildable color for cheeks and lips. Dollar Tree one is called Fun in the Sun. Listen to this, listen to this. They made all this work for five quarters. Formulated with green tea, aloe vera, shea butter, and hyaluronic acid. Oh, and I forgot the most important stuff. Vegan, cruelty-free, sulfate-free, paraben-free, all the freeze. There's nothing in there. <laughs> The brand name one doesn't say anything about hyaluronic acid, green tea. I think they're bringing in a whole line of clean products because look, they also have the foundation. Clean glow foundation that has aloe vera, niacinamide, clean beauty for peace of mind. For those that need peace of mind, I'm good. I rub on anything on my face. I'm only picky about the price. I'm not picky about <laughs> the organic chemicals that are in it. It's fine. Do you pookie? It's your money. It's not my money. Sephora is not paying me. Dollar Tree is not paying me. Tower 28 ain't paying me. Keyword yet, because I'm calling collections and we're about to start collecting all these mofos. They both look super creamy. It's melting like butter. It's kind of like a mauve kind of color. Not sticky, it's blending out really nicely. The clean finger, let's do the dollar. Oh, butter, baby, butter. I'm getting more pigment 
from the brand name one. I had to put two layers of the Dollar Tree one, which is fine because they're both considered buildable. That means you can keep adding color and it's gonna get more intense. It's kind of like a like a balm where it's like soft, it's not glossy. It's actually beautiful. Both of them are really pretty. I'll do half of my face with each. I'm wiping them off of me. And the one from Dollar Tree is leaving kind of a little bit of a stain behind, which I absolutely love. So that might be a three in one. It might be a lip color, a stain and a lip stain too, four in one. It's a pretty color in here, but it comes out pretty intense. So you might just need a little bit. See the color is pretty, it's not lipstick, it's not chapstick. It's like in between, it feels amazing. I love the way it feels on me. And it's not like super shiny. I'm gonna do a little bit on my cheeks right there. Let's see, just a little bit. Okay, that's pretty. You see what I'm saying? This one comes out kind of like dark and a little bit brown, but okay, I love it. <laughs> And look how it's kind of shearing out. And you guys know I love that natural, natural look where I literally keep dabbing until it's literally gone. But that's the, that's what I like, the Tower 28. And I feel like it's moisturizing, like it's not leaving my lips super dry. If this works, oh, I'm hitting up every Dollar Tree, especially if it leaves a little tint as the day goes by. I'm saving $18, same texture. If I close my eyes and you did this, just based on texture, I couldn't tell you which one was which. Buy the one from Dollar Tree just so you guys can feel how nice this feels. Perfect buttery, but not sticky. There's that one. Okay, so I did the Tower 28 on this side. Now let's do the cheeks on this side with the Dollar Tree one. I like this side more because it's a color that I would definitely like use more. You guys vote in the comments down below. Let me know which side you like. They both feel the same. I don't feel any kind of like stickiness or weight on my cheeks or like I have a lot of makeup on. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the brand name, well listen, I can't even knock it except for the price. So I'm gonna give the name brand one four Vivian heads and I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree one five Vivian heads. For the foundation, Foundation, I don't have anything to compare it to, but let me just tell you how it feels. If you see these in store and you wanna try it out, pick it up as soon as you see it because I don't think they will last very long. People love anything that says buzzwords, clean, vegan, all the buzzwords, they, they, those things go because look at the price savings, especially foundation. This one's called Golden Bronze. Let's see what that looks like. How pretty is that? It is sheer. Throw it in your purse. It's lovely for $1.25. So I'm gonna give this guy five Vivian heads. Tower 28, you've been marked by Be Pure because they're coming after you. The lip jellies, delicious, I want it. Guess what, Dollar Tree has the same lip jellies, guys. Okay, I got three because these are gonna sell out faster than any other of the clean products. Yes, this is part of their clean line. Oh, and this guy, you know how much it cost me? $16 for one. These cost me a dollar and a quarter. You know how much I saved? $14.75 on one. I bought three of them for less than four bucks. The one from Dollar Tree says, clean beauty for peace of mind, high shine with rich hydration, formulated with Dollar Tree for a dollar and a quarter. Look what they got in it. Vitamin E, rose, avocado, and raspberry oil. How do y'all have these magical powers to do all these things in that budget? It's mind boggling to me how y'all got it all done. <laughs> and y'all get the same freaking packaging. Are you kidding? Tell me what. They even said, let's copy that packaging because it's super cute too. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the two colors that I found for the lip jelly. It's a rose color, which is this one here. And then this one is called Sandy. The one from Tower 28 is the coconut color. Swatch it. Huh. Okay, this one, same little wand. I do love the packaging. It feels like the bombs that we had earlier, they just have shine to them. So if you're more of like a matte kind of girl, you don't like all this glossiness happening, not for everybody. I don't think that I would purchase it again for $16. It's not sticky, it's really nice and it feels very moisturizing. The Dollar Tree Sandy, I like the Dollar Tree one better. It's glossy, but it's not glossy. I bring you all the good stuff and then I can't find them later. Oh, this I would definitely a thousand percent buy. You see the difference how this one is still shiny and it's still glossy but it's not like overly glossy. Tower 28 one feels kind of like I'm 10 and I got to wear lipstick for the first time. That's how I felt with it. Dollar Tree, you can't bring things in temporary. You're gonna drive us insane. They're gonna win an award for the damn lip jellies. They're so good. Here's the rose color. No competition. They both feel fine. They're both clean. You're saving $15 a bottle. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the Tower 28 lip jelly three Vivian heads and I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree five Vivian heads. Where can you get a bog bag for a dollar? Nowhere, but for 20 all <laughs>
the original bog bag retails for over $100. I didn't know about these lookalike or even the original one. I did not know about them until literally the night before I went up to Aldi when they had their new releases. When I saw these, I immediately knew that has to be a dupe of something because they're gorgeous. The material that they're made from almost reminds me of the croc material. They will last you for a hundred years. I picked up two because I wasn't sure. I loved both. I couldn't decide. These probably sold out within hours of them being released. Look how big that is. Look at the bottom. The handle gets a little wider right here on the shoulder part of it to make them comfortable. If you're going, what is this for? Picnic, swimming pool, football game, baseball game, the pool. Like if you go to a water park, your stuff can be wet and nasty all day in here. If you're carrying food for a picnic, grocery shopping. The material that it's made out of reminds me of a croc. And not only the material that it's made of and the little holes, people are putting things in here like little accessories, like those gibbets or widgets or gizzards. <laughs> if you have crocs, you know what I'm talking about. They can put little things things in here. Like there's all kinds of accessories on Amazon that you can put on here. So I need something. You can put something to put your cell phone on. You can put wallets in them. Even when I saw them online, I thought, I don't get it because I didn't realize how big they were. They're huge. A pack of water will fit perfectly in here like that. <laughs> I bet your pup can sit in here, roll up your towels, put it in your bag. Maybe you're going to a football game and you need your comfy. I'm just trying to show you guys how big this bag is. In the bag. Look, what if you got to take your wetsuit with you? Wetsuits are big. You never know when you're gonna need it. Just take it just in case. Now this weighs about 37 pounds, but either way, it's amazing. It does look like a laundry basket, fine. Endless possibilities. I am absolutely in love with it. I'm gonna buy some accessories for it. So I'm gonna give the bog bag lookalike 77 Vivian heads. <laughs> You guys know what that means. Five Vivian heads. Neutrogena's Hydro Boost Plumping Mascara. Dollar Tree's Dupe. Look at the packaging. They both have hyaluronic acid to plump. The Neutrogena cost me $10.99. Dollar Tree $1.25. That is saving me $9.74. The Dollar Tree one is black. The only one I could find for the Hydro Boost was black brown. Can you put hyaluronic acid in mascara to plump? I thought that was just skin. Here's the Dollar Tree one. The brushes very similar. The Dollar Tree brush seems a little bit larger. We're getting the same amount of product in each one. Cross your fingers that this works. To me, mascara is hard to shop for. Like it's never perfect. It's either clumpy or lumpy. Neither one promised to be waterproof, so we can't test that. Here's the Neutrogena, my hand. I'm such a sucker for the Hytro Boost line. I have a falsy eyelash on each <laughs> arm so that we can test it. I already have mascara on. It's not going to be a fair test but I want to see how well it's going to plump these guys up. So we'll start with the brand name one. Not bad. If it was just waterproof, that's really nice. The Neutrogena one went on really nice. Again, it gave these falsies a nice little coat. Impressive. Let's try the one from Dollar Tree. The brush is not as nice. It is giving them a run for their money. Go pick up the Dollar Tree mascara, you guys, unless you're looking for waterproof. I don't know how long this will last. I don't know if it's gonna smudge all over your face, but just based on the falsies and the first impression, so similar, so close. Where the heck can you buy mascara with hyaluronic acid for $1.25? I'll cross my fingers and update you guys on Instagram or Facebook to see if that smudges or rubs off or whatever flakes off during the day. But just based on this and the falsies, I'm going for this all day. You could get a fresh new tube of mascara every month, every two months at that price. You can't do it for $10. No, I mean, you could, but why if you have this? So for all of those reasons, I'm going to give the Neutrogena four Vivian heads and I'm going to give the Dollar Tree five Vivian heads. Don wrinkle release Dollar Tree's wrinkle away spray. The Dollar Tree one is double the size of the Dawn one. The Dawn one cost me $1.47. For three fluid ounces, the Dollar Tree one is giving me six fluid ounces for a dollar and a quarter. So I'm saving, based on the ounces, almost double the price. If you've seen any of my cruise vlogs or cruise videos, this is one of the must-have items. On a cruise, you don't have an iron, you don't have nothing. So you are wrinkled on your vacation. You know, there's tricks to packing so that you're not way wrinkled, but still, you're walking around a little bit wrinkled. But when it's like formal night, captain's night, we gotta do better. And this is the solution. What I do is I get on my cruise and the first night I spray everything down with this stuff. 
I have this shirt behind me. I don't know if you guys can see how wrinkled it is. I think you can. As we go through the video, we'll check back on it to see which one released the wrinkles. I've never been able to get like wrinkle free. If you have, tell me your tricks. It releases most of the wrinkles, so it helps. Oh, that's lovely. That's really nice. It's just as good as the Dawn. Remember, it's also a refresher. I actually prefer that scent. It's really nice. So after spraying, you want to tug. So I'm just going to do the one side. Now the Dollar Tree side. Ew, I even like the spritz on this one better. I'm already noticing the Dollar Tree side be less wrinkled already. Okay, y'all better run. These won't last after I put up this video because that's actually working. The Dawn, I'm gonna give it four Vivian heads, one Vivian head off for price. The Dollar Tree, just based on first impressions, I'm gonna give it five Vivian heads. Dollar Tree has done it again, you guys. An entire line has been duped. Now the ingredients are different. I'm gonna start with that because people start asking, but here's the thing, even though they have different ingredients. The ingredients in the Dollar Tree one are pretty impressive. They're both for blemished acne prone skin. The Elf is a great brand. It's been around for a million years. This one is new to Dollar Tree and I'm actually missing one from the Elf because of Amazon. Remember I told you months ago they lost one of my packages? Yeah, they did it again. I'm missing one of these. <laughs> one of my neighbors, I don't know who it is. Like I can never see, you know, how they leave a picture. They have till today at five to bring me my damn package before I have a fit. This is the second time it's happened to me. Different neighbors. So it is a four piece set. The water cream cost me $12. The cream gel cost me $1.25. That is saving me $10.75. The brand name one is giving me a clarifying cleanser, resurfacing serum, and a calming water gel. The calming water gel cost me $12. By buying the Dollar Tree one, I've saved $10.75. A resurfacing serum cost me $13.76. By buying the Dollar Tree one, I'm saving $12.51. The clarifying cleanser cost me $9. Buying the Dollar Tree one saved me $7.75. Like you can't go wrong, but look at the ingredients in the Dollar Tree one. The moisturizer has hyaluronic acid, aloe vera, cucumber. That's gonna soothe, baby. The oil-free clarifying cleanser has retinol, the scrub, sugar, glycolic acid, and papaya to help exfoliate and gently brighten and clean your skin. That was a dollar. And then the last one, the spot treatment, has vitamin C, some kind of acid that I cannot pronounce, and grapefruit. I am so impressed with what Dollar Tree has brought in. One of these is still more than this entire collection from Dollar Tree. So run, these won't be there long. The cleanser is three ounces of product. The Dollar Tree ones are two and a half, so not much difference in size. If you wanna spend the money, you probably can't go wrong with the Elf. But if you want to save yourselves over $35, probably more than that, because I'm not even counting the one product that's not here yet. So if you wanna save yourselves 40 bucks, give this one a try, what are you losing here? They both feel watery and lightweight. I love that because you will now wear it. And I'm actually really impressed with the skincare from Elf. I've never used it before. The one with papaya, look at it. It's orangey like papaya, exfoliating, very nice. It smells like pure papaya. This one has blue agave in it. Look at it, it's blue. <gasps> There is absolutely no reason not to try this new line. So just based on my first impression, I'm gonna give the e.l.f. skin, first time experiencing it, three Vivian heads, but the Dollar Tree for the win. I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree acne prone skin line, 55 Vivian heads. If you wanna continue watching videos like this one, I recommend you watch this one next.